my good friend's small. She saw me. You know, if somebody doesn't know you, and they don't treat you with a certain standard, don't fuck with them. In my brain, which I think this has, and not me be saying it does, has a lot to do with the trauma that I experienced, specifically around men. I found myself catering to this person that I was seeing. And not that catering to your man or it isn't a good thing. I really think the portion that was fucking me up was I had also compromised myself, losing my identity, in which that was one of the lessons that I told myself that I would not do next time I got into a relationship with somebody. And I ended up doing it. So when I dated this person the first month it was cool, and I told myself that first month when I felt that he had crossed my boundaries, I actually ghosted him. Yep, I said I ghosted him. I don't care. You guys can say whatever you want. Um, I've done enough work to know, shadow work, to know that I don't owe anybody an explanation. At the end of the day, I need to honor myself. So, I'm sharing this for another sister that might be going through something. And, um, she might feel afraid to share. Don't be. Don't be ashamed of the choices that you make. You make them. And everything is for a lesson and a learning, right? So, he ended up calling me one day after I ghosted him. And this had been like three weeks since I had last talked to him. And so... After uh, I had picked, I had picked up the phone because he called it because I accidentally called him. I don't know why I didn't delete his number, but I accidentally called him, and he talked me into coming back to talk to him, and I ended up hooking back up with him, and that turned into a five-month situation. During that whole time. I had engaged with him and in thinking processes that I thought that I would never succumb myself to. And if I'm too slow for y'all, go ahead and skip the video. I mean, go to another person. This, is, this ain't for you. <laughs> And um, in that communication, there would be certain situations where he didn't want me to talk to another man. And of course, that makes sense. But we're talking about being at an event and him saying that my contact is bothering you guys. Being at an event and him not wanting the man to engage with me, but engage with him. And I wasn't even trying to talk to the guy. The guy came up to me. And then after the guy left, he's like, why were you talking to him in the first place? And I'm like, I thought to myself, are you fucking kidding me right now? This cannot be happening. And I'm like, I thought to myself, if this was a big deal, why didn't you just scoop yourself in and have that conversation? I don't need to introduce you. Have the fucking conversation. He, and anyways, the people had already stopped by our booth and give us a, a, given us a flyer prior, but I didn't pay no mind to it. I just thought, whatever. This is me 
need to give people some flyers. So it was little things like that. Also, too, um, monitoring my eating. I ended up, like, hiding what I was eating around him. And then he was also asking about, like, how I was, um, why I was eating out so much. And um, it's my fucking money. I make it. I made the money. I can spend it on what I want. So it's little things like that. And I, in, in the conversation, I did say to him, oh, why are you worried about that? That's my money. And when I felt slighted, I would say that I felt slighted. But I allowed myself to continue to have these conversations and we ended up arguing every single weekend or maybe every time we're on the phone and I'm like man I've never ever been in a situation like this before this is some dumb shit like who fucking argues every time and thinks that shit is healthy I found myself going into depression mode and then also too I found myself engaging with him at his energy level and then one day, I thought to myself, maybe I really do love this guy. And I said, well, I'm going to ask my mom. So I call up moms and I'm like, mom, her husband might not like this video. So I'm just sharing with you from what So when I asked my mom this question, I said, Mom, there are some mannerisms that I'm seeing that are very similar to, uh, you know, behaviors that I've seen with people you've dealt with in the past. And I have to know because the characteristics of this guy that I'm dating is very similar. I said, had you had the foresight to make that decision to not um, engage with this guy, and um, would you have made a different decision? And then my mom says, yes, I would have. And so... I had called him, no, I texted him, and I told him that I would not be engaging with him anymore, and this would be the end of our relationship. There's no talking, none of that. I don't want to see you, don't call me, none of that. He called me once, and after that, I haven't seen him in like three months, and I feel so peaceful, I feel so grateful. And I'm so glad that I made the decision that I made. So if you're in a situation where a gentleman makes you feel less than who you are and doesn't allow you to express who you are, the probability that he is insecure of your power um, is high. So I urge you to talk to a friend about it. And you know what? If you know that they have your good intention in mind, take heed to that. Because that might be some shit that you need to listen to.